and welcome. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to compare two angle lamps. And uh, why, you would ask, are we doing this? I will tell you right after these messages of unboxing things. So here we are. This is the uh, brand new, I guess, or I, I don't, I, I have no idea. I'm very clueless as to what we're doing. Um, KT77 Engel Fireball 25 versus the other one, which has 6L6s. Now, usually these amps are both black. Uh, I have the limited edition white, and it's uh, really cool, and I have the white 212 to go along with it. Now, I reviewed the Fireball 25 a while ago, and you should watch that video if you want to know anything about it, about the built-in load box. I I'm going to say gate. I think it has a gate. What do I know? The point is, it is, if you ask me, bang for the buck, sub-1,000 euro, the metal beast out there. It doesn't break the bank. It doesn't break your back. It doesn't break your ears, but it delivers all the ridiculous metal goodness that you want from a fireball in a 25 watt package. All the sound, I think, is happening in the preamp and then the power amp just makes it loud. Now with the 25 watt power amp, it might, when you really crank it, get into sound sculpting a little bit because you're really pushing that power amp a little bit harder. But really up to the point where it matters, I doubt it. Now I just recently did a video on the Tube Workshop Single 6, a 7 watt, 2800 euro, 112 combo with three knobs and a single tube. It's not loud and it's expensive, but it's one of the finest sounds uh, for the connoisseur you can experience. And in that video, I changed the tubes because with a single ended amp, you can easily do that. We looked at four different power amp tubes and even with that meticulously crafted point to point hand wired amp, I really didn't give a shit. So when on the new forum that my buddy John Simmons from Holland started in, in the forum is called, I always have to look it up because I don't know. Apparently I'm an admin there. Rock and metal amps, comma, pedals and gear. I'm going to link to the forum, of course, below. It's a community for the people that like the heavier things in life. And it is absolutely a non, I don't want to say the T word. It's we don't bitch about things. Let's just all celebrate the fact that we like to go. Chunk -a -chunk 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 and that stuff and that's what it's about and someone in that group said because they don't understand how we content creators work we need to eat we we need to make money with our videos we can't just like make the videos you want to see and generate gear out of thin air so on that forum someone said well i really want to buy and amp, my first tube amp, I do metal stuff. Can you please compare the standard Fireball 25 with 6L6s versus the KD-77s? And I kind of went off on him saying, well, how do you think this works? Who of us has a Fireball 25? First of all, we have to have that. And then why in the world would we have the KD-77 version? It's not like I can just like go on my shelf and grab the KT77 version. Am I going to buy it to make a video for that guy? That doesn't make sense. Is Engel going to send me one so that guy has the video he wants with these two amps compared? Likely. Yes, actually. Um, so I'm really going off of him like, dude, this isn't like a buffet. Like, how am I getting paid for a video so th that you can make an informed buying decision between these two amps? And it's not just always about about getting paid. For example, I'm not getting paid for this video. However, I got another amp that I've already kind of had. Anyway, I looked at the two amps, really went off on him, and then did exactly what he wanted. <laughs> Contacted Jürgen from Engels said, hey, this guy wants to have a shootout between the two angles. Can you send me a KT-77? 
I'm not gonna charge you, just leave the amp so that I have two of them. Sadly, you can't go to the grocery store and say, oh, I want all these groceries, here's an amp. But anyway, we're doing the video because it's, it's interesting. And my prediction is, there's no difference. Now, if you look at the two amps, and I think we have a camera where you can see both amps at the same time, there is, in addition to the color, which you have to imagine isn't there because you can't get the white one anymore, there is a considerable difference. One has the grill, and one has the angle tubes in the front, like the long metal, sti the stickies, the angle stickies. And I personally like the stickies more. So you might actually make a choice based on the visuals, but maybe in four minutes, you'll make a choice based on the sounds, which is what we're going to do. I'm not going to talk anymore. We're going to shoot out the two amps. The white one has 6L6s. The black one has KD77s. We will attempt in this video, which we're shooting live, to switch back and forth so I don't actually have to narrate what we're doing. I'm going to record loops with this Ruf Schrödinger in Demon Pink because that's a modern guitar that you would send into one of these amps. We're going to record something in clean, probably very pointless. You would rarely do on that amp, but we're going to do it. So I'm um, going to erase this. Okay, and we're going to start with we are on the white one, and that's where we're going to start, and then we're going to switch, and you're going to listen. Okay, that's tragically very interesting because there's a volume difference and the perceived volume difference makes the KD-77 one sound thicker. But there's no difference, I mean, other than the difference I just described. <laughs> We're going to go to mid boost and medium gain on the clean channel for the kind of sound you would also probably never play with this.
Okay, let's go and uh, take the gain down, but push the master so we're actually making the power tubes more work. More. <laughs> Here's what I learned. When you're getting it really clean at about 9 o'clock on the gain in the clean channel, there's a difference. The KT77 is fuller. When you are running it distorted at a volume where the power amp is making it loud, but not really going into sag and power amp distortion and all that stuff, uh, the difference is negligible, if any, if anything at all the white one in this case the 606 one has about three percent more mids who gives the flying rats ass in a mix your speaker will have about 60 percent influence on the frequency response so the tiniest bit of mic movement different speaker different fly sitting on the edge of the cone will make that sound different when you're pushing it in the power amp like I did at about three o'clock on the master. I don't think you have this responsive transparent metal sound anymore. It's not what you want from this amp, but there the power amp works harder and the difference is more noticeable. I heard a clear mid push in the 6L6, whereas the KT77 uh, was more, I would say, transparent, mid-staffed. Not staffed, but I mean, it had less than the 6L6. I'm going to ask into the other room, because Leslie heard all of this. Leslie, what do you think the differences were? There were none. There were none, she said, and that's exactly what matters, because the average listener doesn't give a flying rat's ass about the 6L6 or KT77. The way that 90% of you will be using this, no perceived difference. Is there one? Yes. Is it one that matters? No. Um, is the choice that you're going to make based on the grill different? Yes. I mean, you could get the white one like I have. The choice is easy. White, because it's cool. Um, there is a difference. If you want more of the mids, once you're really cranking the amp, which you're not going to do. So, no, there is no difference. Yes, there is one. But none that matters. Go join us at rock and metal people amps and pedals and gear and they're all cool and nice and they actually don't fight about shit they just say hey look at what i got and then listen to this and this video is coming up on my channel and then hey uh, cool i bought this and i found this problem um but no bitching no death threats and shit so join that group thank you to whoever you were that made me do this
Now I had to make that video. And we learned something. We learned that Engel are cool people. I'll link to both below. Please use them and animals at the end. Yeah.